Our destination today is Port Solent Marina. To get there, you've got to wind your way up through Porchester Lake, a wide expanse of shallow water with a navigable channel to take you up to the marina. It's quite narrow in places, but there's plenty of depth and it's well marked by posts all the way up to the lock. The entrance to the channel is just west of a large MOD jetty. There's a series of green posts on the starboard side, which is to the east of the channel. The Port Solent development was built during the 1980s on reclaimed land right up in the top northeastern corner of Portsmouth Harbour. It's not just a marina, but a residential area with multi-screen cinema, health club and a good selection of restaurants around the marina basin. There's a lot to negotiate into the marina. It's a fairly easy approach, unless it's very low water, and there's no cross-tide across the entrance to worry about like there is in many locks. There's some basic rules for using locks. Always rig fenders on both sides of the boat. Pull as far forward as you can in case anyone else is coming in behind you. And turn your engine off once you're secured. It's really important to be able to hear any instructions from the lock keeper. Plus, there's nothing pleasant about inhaling diesel fumes. In some locks, you have to control the lines yourself as you change level. But in the Port Solent lock, there are floating pontoons that will rise with you, so it's a very easy process. Oh, you can just grab one of theirs. <laughs> that might be easiest. The lock gates are open slightly to let the water in, and although it looks quite dramatic, it's a pretty gentle process with very little surging. Once the gates are fully opened, give the water time to settle down before you let go of your lines. If you're visiting, you're normally presented with a mini chart of the marina layout to show you where to go.
When we came into the marina, we locked in. But a quick check on the marina website shows us there'll be a period of free flow today, just at the right time to suit our departure. To explain free flow, we have to look at the tide outside the marina basin. For a normal lock procedure, there needs to be a difference in height. The bottom gates are closed once you enter the lock, the lock is filled, and then the top gates are open. But when the tide takes the water level higher than the level inside the marina, operators have an opportunity to open both sets of lock gates at the same time and allow some fresh water to flush the basin. This process is called free flow, and it means that boats don't have to lock through when the tide is at its highest. So that's it, Port Solent. And as we leave Portsmouth Harbour, I'd just like to say, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.